Hello everyone, welcome back to Bowser's Fury. Oh yeah. Let's see. Runes, Gigabell, Trickety Tower. It just seems about right. Hang on. I'm gonna be trying my mic at a different angle. Hope you don't mind. Probably will. I, uh, remembered where the third cat is for that, uh, mama cat. Normally, I'd be doing cat puns, but I'm leaving that to Bubsy. Who is thankfully not in this game? There it is! And I don't think we can get it on Plessy. I'm not 100% sure. Nope! We gotta ride the ice flu. Wait for it. Okay, that makes things a lot more difficult. See Bowser Jr. like replaced the EGAD logo on his paintbrush. I wonder how he did that. Here, kitty kitty. Grab that one. Okay, that's good. A minute, I had a bit of a panic attack. You know, I wonder if this is, was just a little side project 1UP Studio maybe did? 
or due to COVID that this is uh, like a little side project. Because I know this is shorter than most 3D Mario games, and I know they couldn't have gotten away with this unless it was a port of 3D World. So yeah, I'm glad they experimented with this. But uh, I'd like to see like a, probably a sequel for Odyssey if they're still working on it. But a fully open world Mario game in 3D. Hey, yeah, like similar to Breath in the Wild. But it's sandbox. Like from Odyssey. Kind of like this, but bigger. Who knows, maybe they'll be working on something original. Oh, like, like Odyssey or Galaxy. But except it's not. Oh, right. I need the propeller box. You Like, I'm not ragging on this game, I'm just saying, like, I'd prefer, like, a sequel to Odyssey or just something new. So, again, I'm glad this also came out, because it allowed them to experiment a little. And I'd really like a more open world, like, a fully open world 3D Mario game like this one. Like, Bowser's Fury, but, you know, bigger. I know the pandemic had a lot to do with it, it being, being a shorter adventure. And they were probably working on a port of 3 world. But yeah. Yeah, I just want a genuine fist fight, like no gimmicks with Mario and Bowser. That's possible. Like, I know this makes things a lot interesting for gameplay, but I, I, I like that.
Also, I've been waiting and waiting on the Pokemon Home update. Leaks say that it's almost done, but not really. And yeah, I'm adjusting my mic here. Sorry. I really need a number keypad. This keyboard's just too big. Oh. I'm looking at one. But again, things have been tight for me. Like, I wasn't even able to get Kirby in the first cotton plant. It actually does sound normal, but usually I'm able to swing these kind of things. And I've been working on other projects, too. And, uh, certain aspects of my life. Why they they picked the shape of Luigi? Again, I think it has something to do with uh, Sunshine a little. So again, and this was released for the Mario 35. We can see a lot of faint references to past Mario games. Like the Cat Shine, Bowser's Paintbrush, the Cat Shine Shards. I mean, Bowser Jr.'s paintbrush. Look. Like, there were some light references to the games included in, uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars in this game that I've noticed.
such as the Fury Shadow being like it probably inspired by Shadow Mario. In the goop returning. And the cat shine shards are are inspired by the silver stars from Super Mario Galaxy. I guess. In returning uh, the kittens, it was inspired by returning the penguin from Mario 64 to its mother. Like, everything has, like, cat ears. I like it. Or cat tail. One of the two. Or both. There's one cat. Out of five. Better get cracking. Oh, I think I see another one. Hopefully, we're able to get it on plastic. Come on! How else are we supposed to get it up there? Alright, maybe post-game. Get on Plessy! Okay, post-game. Yeah, I feel like 1UP Studio probably did this. 
did a lot of this for Bowser's Fury. Because the frame rate kind of dips a lot in some areas. Or a little. Again, Odyssey had that tendency too, but not as much. And again, this was also during the pandemic. I mean, it's a good game! Get me wrong, I just was hoping that the wait 8 would have, like, give us an Odyssey 2 at 2 or something, like, original. Oh, I knew a 3D per world port was on the way. Like, it was inevitable. I'm just hoping all that energy, either for the past four years, was, wasn't, like, spent on, like, this. Yes, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but I just was hoping for something more original. Oh, but for 35... I game, like for an anniversary game, this takes the cake. Yes, we can. Again, this is a good anniversary game, and, but I'm hoping that, like, like this wasn't the result, like, from the past four years. There isn't, like, this was more of a side project. I'm not dissing Nintendo. I, I was just, like, wanting, like, you know, like, uh, on Odyssey 2 or something. But again, I, I think it's going to be hard to top Odyssey. Okay, so maybe next console, like this technically counts as a 3D Mario game. And it's on merit even though it's short. Or in Galaxy was like a huge project for them at the time. Well, that took care of everything. Thanks, Bowser. I thought those words would never escape my lips.
Did it. Like, I'm hoping what's in store is basically, like, an overworld like this. But bigger. Or with, uh, Odyssey's, like, explorative themes. Again, Odyssey had a long, long development period. Like an entire, entire console's worth between uh, 3D Mario games. Oh, come on. However, from the Odyssey art book, there was a lot of unused ideas, so I'm hoping maybe we get a sequel to it. I mean, we're getting a sequel to Breath of the Wild, so maybe that's why we haven't heard anything on it. Come <laughs> on. 
Like, I'm just glad we also got a traditional full volcano level from this. Also, speaking of uh, Nintendo, I, I, I know I mentioned this probably before, but they really need to go the Steam route with their mods. With people who, like, do mods for their games. And fan games. Like, have a little portal, like, up on the, the, their hardware. Where and uh, PCs and bonds. Like a platform of its own. A page. Like a web page. Page and an app for the Switch, so you can play it on there, too. Ew, like, like Steams. And Nintendo, like, has a new team. It could create, like, a ton of jobs with that team. Approving the mods. Mods. And, like, that. Uh, of course, you'd, you'd have to pay for that page now and then. I mean, like, this is Nintendo, they, they want to get paid, too. Yeah, they gotta make money somehow. And I guess, like, like if the uh, fan game is really popular or something, and I guess the developer gets a little bit of the cut, kind of like Team Fortress 2, who did, it with people submitting items in their workshop. It worked for Valve, so why not Nintendo? I know they want to do things differently, but... But there's no reason why they can't... ...try something like that. And I think getting the developers... for Super Mario Flashback would be a step in the right direction. You want to promote it. It's send them a little email saying, hey, we're, we want you to be a part of our new fan game program. And, and we was thinking your game would be a good way. And of course my phone alarm goes off. But of course that also raises the question of how we're going to do this for older games. And I completely lost the thought of my conversation. Oh yeah, it was about the older games, like Sunshine. I had, like, stuff that... that can't be emulated. Simple. Officially partner with the homebrew devs. Or make another team. I mean, if the homebrew developers found a way to crack the Wii and have it emulate pretty much nearly anything except for modern day games, then it shouldn't be hard to assemble a 
a team to update the Wii's firmware and services. That or Nintendo's aware of it and they're just letting them off the hook. Wow, 37 minutes. Yeah, I know this might be a shorter vid, 100% sure, but I think I'm gonna end the part here. See you around.